Hi, I'm Gordon from Block Party, and this is Uncut. Told you to be better. So, Gordon, here you are. Uh, fourth studio record, correct? Fourth? Yes. In stores now, correct? Four, yeah, in stores now. So there was, of course, I'm sure you've talked about this a million times, but I'm going to talk about it anyway because I read at a fourth grade level, so mm -hmm. I should have read more about it. But uh, <laughs> You guys have your, your hiatus that you went on. That's the, the word that bands are using. Yeah. Is hiatus. <laughs> so between third and fourth record, what, what was one doing in, in between? Was it all about working on side projects, or was it just some time to relax? I mean, it started off as some time yeah decompressing from just being on the the hamster wheel right it's a grind i don't think people realize that um it, i mean it can be obviously it's like it's it can be a an enjoyable grind uh and it's you know you see a lot of the world and um you know, from that point of view it's very interesting life it can be repetitive you know, you're doing the same thing on, in different places yeah, talking to jerks day after like day. me <laughs> city after city town yeah. after town I mean, that, I suppose that uh, Radiohead movie, Meeting People Is Easy, is kind of, that shows you a bit of that from that side. Yeah. It's like any job, you know, some days are better than others. It's the middle of December and I'm in Austin and the sun's out and yeah. it's really nice. 65 degrees, it could be worse. you call home? Is it London? Yeah. London. So what part of London do you actually live in? I live in a part of North London called Stoke Newington um, and it's you know it's quite a sort of family sort of area lots of strollers in the streets. We have two kids so that's sort of ideal. Really for what's us. the first thing you do when you get home when you've been out on tour for a long period of time what's the first thing you want to do is there a restaurant that you have to find is it a, a TV show that you want to watch is it <laughs> family members that you want to see? Well yeah I mean obviously if it's if, if I come in the day uh, they're not, you know, my kids will be there and they're two and four, so they're always happy to see dad. And the first th thing that I'll eat that I specifically would, like, would, would, you know, have to go and get is a curry because I find it's hard to get a good curry. Anywhere else? Well, uh, and we've yet to tour in India, so. <laughs> <laughs> I feel so bad about myself because someone asked me that question. If if someone asked me and I was a, a touring musician, it would be like, I want to get drunk and I want to go to the tuning bar. And you're like, I want to see my family. Yeah. Have some course. toast and tea. It sounds very uh, <laughs> very even keel right well, there. Well, I mean, you know, the, the the other things you mentioned are the things that you do when you're on tour. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you don't you don't bring that home with you. Just leave it there. <laughs> In the process of writing, you know, after a hiatus, is it hard to come back and, and kind of get in the groove with the rest of the members, or is it is it pretty easy? It's kind of like riding a bike. I mean, you guys obviously you got to be friends in uh, in some capacity. So, is it something you just jump right in, or does it take a little while for you guys to readjust to each other? I think the the biggest jump was just sort of getting used to each other again, having sort of been apart, you know, been estranged, I suppose. Um, musically, it didn't. It never felt difficult. Um, it felt very natural from from the get go, really. And I think, you know, as as musicians and sort of having played through the gap with other musicians and done other projects, you know, we're, we're always ticking over with kind of music, really. So that was entirely kind of straightforward. Was there a lot of pressure on you guys for the, the performance of the record or the, how the record sounded? I mean, with, with there being a time period between the third and fourth record, you know, the industry changes so quickly nowadays and, the, and how people consume music changes so quickly. Was there some pressure or did you feel like, you know what, we've been indie and we've been doing this our own way, <laughs> so you're, you're almost ahead of the game? The spirit we went into this record with was really just about the band and, and the kind of cohesion as a unit. and you know, it being very sort of simple, honest ver version of what we do. You know, because it wasn't a record that we knew we were going to make in many ways, it, I don't know that we entirely expected to make this record when we kind of went on hiatus. We weren't looking at another record. It felt the whole time that it was really a, a kind of bonus record, if you will. 
you know. So there was, and we had a bit of money in the bank in order to make it. So we didn't have to kind of rely on a label or anything. It was very much it came from us, you know. having fun yeah I mean I'm ready I'm ready f <laughs> I'm ready for a break we have two three more shows and then it's we're off little holiday Christmas. time yeah so it's been a yeah it's been a jam-packed <laughs> few months it gets harder as you get older doesn't it it's not as easy as it was you know ten years ago to be on the road I mean we're lucky that we can tour in a comfortable way you know I think if we were still slogging around kind of in a, a tour van. in a 15 seater that would be <laughs> a challenge yeah i would imagine yeah, so this you know as we get older but you know i think if you still got the the passion to go and play then you'll overcome that um yeah it, it, maybe it takes a little bit longer to get out of bed tour tour by tour it used to be because you were still drunk from the night before now it's just because the knees are a little sore <laughs> from the night before right well i'd like to be able to say that but uh, <laughs> <laughs> Still, still, still for many reasons. Still for both reasons. Please, I was so sure I was for tea and not able to love. Obviously, the fans are still there. Sold out show here in Austin, Texas, uh, yeah. Emo's East, uh, which is a great venue. I'm sure this is obviously the first time you guys have played here. It's a great venue. You're going to have a blast. It sounds great. Mm -hmm. So, uh, well, welcome back to Austin. Thank you. Congra congratulations on the new record. Thank you very much. And uh, continued success. This is Gordon, everyone. Thanks. Thank Gordon. you. Gordon, my old Thank friend. <laughs> Please. 